came into, into being, just, just for those out there that are wondering. Now I know what you do for your research on game tech. <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to look up bifocal just to see what the, where it came the, from. The history of the bifocal. <laughs> nice. Yes. Flips it up. Nine of ten shooting. And what I love with that interview with Darvin Prentice will be look no further than Memphis and what Taylor Jenkins has done with that team. Number two seed in the West. Great win over the Timberwolves last night. John Morant, that dunk was just... Oh. But just to, how quickly things have come together to win a championship in what is third year after you know, a couple of years. First year up two down in uh, Orlando uh, with everything that happened, boycotting game five of the, Orla of the Orlando Magic Series. But You know, both players who they brought here to Milwaukee, Vucevic gets a flush. But to, to coin an old French, it's been with one of those kinds of years, what you're, what you're saying. Well, you know, for some teams. Who <laughs> <laughs> might, might not be playing anymore. A team like the Nets, has been a lot of baby drama mama. You know, just... <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I love it. All right, let me see it. <laughs> Gotten the start. Those are his first points. He was 0 for 4 before that shot. It happened for him. Oh, a nice little step to the move. Got the reach and foul by West, and he has an and one coming. Hadn't happened yet. So, I mean, this is mode. He's a terrific, terrific draft pick. Youngster, 22 years old, 6'5. Great defensive player on. Let's get it right back. Two to Poppy. Those Poppy Pie vocals are looking good. Oh, they're looking good. Yeah, they are. And that's Bobby's first three-point make. I was just checking that out because he's not had a lot of success with those open looks. They're trying to draw a foul there on Giannis again. Bobby sizes it up for three and knocks it down once again from the corner. Nice job finding Bobby in that dead corner. Scored his jumper on the floor. But defensively, Boots Nut does a nice job. Bucks, Bucks more. It, it's made, and that's what that defense does, right, Marcus? It, it, it forces you to have to knock down a three-point shot with, with the defender running at you. And particular nice. players to knock down yeah. that three-point shot. And know your personnel, so he's just struggling big time to knock down that open corner three-point shot. Well, we've talked about it. He's, he's struggled even in the regular season for three. That's Giannis just kind of pulling his way through. But just patience. I mean, I'm of the 11 here tonight. Two points west for three. Bucks starting to refine the range on the outside, find their rhythm offensively. Vucevic stays with it, finds the sooner. Gets Iowa's miss in the turnaround. Guys in the league in terms of drawing fouls, getting to the free throw line. It was 23 points, but the game before that, I think it was down to like 11, 11 shot attempts or so. In game three, so. 11 points, and that was a season. Had the 11 points on nine shot attempts. I knew 11 was in there somewhere. 11's a great number. Yeah. It's the Rhodes' number. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What a great sign. Grayson, box on a push. Here's Drew. Over to Pat, steps into it, back to back. 24 is a great number, too. Willie Mays, Pat Connaughton. Say hey! <laughs> Connaughton, deep corner. I'll take that at the break line. Yeah. Misses. That played right into that stat that you just quoted. Last 15 se seconds, he's down below 40%. Kristen Allen, corner try. And he is just ripping the spirit out of the pulse with every three-pointer. What, what a great narrative incident in late January. And and, and I say that just because the Bulls fans and the media just won't let it die and just try and keep the keep that thing going long past its shelf life. 
And it had an impact, I believe, on Grayson Allen. I don't know if he would admit it, but I thought his game, his shooting was, was negatively impacted. When you, if you're around him, you know it's you know, 180 degrees in terms of what he is like as a person. He's down in a legal guarding position. And I'm going to get to the free throw line. Thirty-one points here for Giannis. That he has drawn now ten fouls against the Bulls. Two rebounds off of another double-double. And he converts on that and one. It's, it seems like forever ago that he was a 20-year-old just beginning his playoffs against this very Bulls team. Back in 2015. That series that uh, he got ejected right with the Mike Dunleavy Jr. Yeah, game six. Kobe yeah. White a running knocks start. down the three point shot. <laughs> he, came, he, he, he definitely had a running start. That's one thing you could say about that. Yeah, and, and Giannis's quote was that, well, he just took li literally when they said you've got to hit them first. Forward his head a little bit, trying to go at DeRozan baseline. He didn't like some of the. The, the hard blows from Mike Dunleavy Jr. against his his buddy Michael Carter Williams, and it was a blowout anyhow. So he was going to let uh, Dunleavy Jr. know it. Giannis taking it all the way, lays it up on the left side. 